When you open the Gospel Library app, the first screen that comes up is the home screen. This screen provides quick access to information such as featured content, your reading history, quick links, study plans, study tools, and even inspirational scriptures and quotes. So let's dig in and show you how the home screen works. I'll start by first showing you how to get to the home screen. Wherever you are, you can always come down to the bottom here and click on the home icon, and that will bring you to the home screen. We're gonna show you up here at the top first how you can select what you want to see on the home screen. So if you come up here and click on the three dots in the top right corner, you can then click on edit home, and this will give you the option to choose what you want to include on your home screen. These are the items currently included on my home screen. And these are ones that I can go ahead and add. So say I want to add the account sign in and study plan. And now what I can do is I can come in here and I can drag things around. So if I want the featured content to show at the bottom, I can just click on the three bars on the right and slide it down to where I want. If I want study tools to be up at the top, I can do that. Okay, back here on the home screen again, you can see we have the first thing I have listed is featured content. That will change. The church will put different content there. Right now it is featuring Roots Tech. The next section it shows here is continue reading. These are links to where I've most recently been reading my scriptures. So I could quickly click on one of those and it would take me to that spot. So I can come here and click on the three dots here and I can change the number of items that it shows. So if I want to see the four most recent places I've been reading, I can change that to four. And now you can see the four most recent places I've been reading. You can come down and next is quick links. These are fast links to take you to different locations. For example, the scriptures or the come follow me manual. You can come up here and click on the three dots and click edit quick links. You can come in here and you can choose which quick links you want to include. So these are the ones right in here that I currently have included. If I want to add, you know, Sunday school, come follow me, I can click on the plus button. If I don't want that, I can click on the remove button. And I can also move the links around. The next section is study tools. If I click on the three dots here, it's the same as the others. I can edit study tools and I can choose what ones I want to include or exclude and I can maneuver them around as I would like. The study tools will cover in a future video what all of these are, but these are great tools to help us with our gospel study. Down here, they have the quote of the day. And if you want, you can click on the three dots and you can share the quote of the day, or you can set up notifications for the quote of the day. The same goes for the verse of the day. You can share that, or you can set up notifications for that as well. And then down here you have your account. You can quickly sign out if you want using the three dots. And then down at the bottom, you can see any current study plans that you have created. And once again, you can go click on the three dots and change the item count. You can choose it to, you can select it to go see all of your study plans. You can also have a quick link here to create a new study plan. That's how the home screen works on the Gospel Library app. Check out these videos for more from Gospel Mom Tech and be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos.